first of all, uh, Dr. Shavitz, can you um, put into words how you view the SLU NCAA tournament situation as we speak? Well, look, this was a tough year for everybody due to COVID. Uh, SLU, unfortunately, got hit worse than most teams. As you know, Frank, we were seven and one. We beat some great teams in the early run, LSU, NC State. Um, and we were on a roll and there was no question uh, we were an NCAA bound team, uh, probably winning the Atlantic 10 and having a pretty good seed. COVID hit us and it hit us really bad. Uh, it wiped out the entire team almost. And you could tell by our play when we came back, uh, we lost some tough games. Uh, then we started to recoup and uh, recuperate and we won some big games, uh, pretty big uh, in terms of the outcomes. And then unfortunately we lost the last game of the year uh, to St. Bonaventure, which, uh, well, it's unfortunate, but St. Bonaventure is a great team. I mean, they're NCAA bound for sure. Um, and they're, they're, I think they're gonna do very well in the, in the tournament. So uh, it's a tale of multiple stories in a season made up of multiple horrific events. Do you believe that the NCAA should show some compassion to SLU on Selection Sunday and those first two games back, Dayton and LaSalle should be thrown out because they had gone through a stretch where they did not practice for 23 days? Yeah, look, compassion is a tough word. I don't, I, you know, when you, I think this should be objective. And I'm going to tell you from an objective perspective, SLU should be in. I look at who we beat. I look at our, ra our ratings. I look at the team makeup. I look, of the, I look at the players and what they've accomplished. I look at the other bubble teams, if that's what you want to call them. And we're clearly number one from my perspective. Uh, and we should be in there. And I think we will do well in the tournament. This is not a one and done team. And I think we're back to where we stood, uh, you know, except the, the St. Bonaventure loss. Um, but this team is, is ready to go. It has a lot of depth. Frankly, I think it's the best team we've we put on the floor in for as long as I could possibly remember. Uh, and and they're going to compete. They're going to compete long and hard and and deep. And I think people are excited about see, seeing SLU in there. I mean, this was a, this is a year where the Dukes and and the other big power teams have not done well, as we all know. And it's it's rooting for the for the, the the mid teams, the 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 the, uh, the teams that people in the past didn't pay a lot of attention to are now the darlings and SLU is clearly a darling. I mean, there's followings I know across the country for SLU. I talked to a lot of people, they found out that I go to SLU, I'm connected to SLU and, you know, unbeknownst to me, uh, knowing their background or anything, they immediately start talking about how excited they are about SLU basketball and the exciting players we have and can't wait to see them play in the NCAA tournament. I'm wondering how uh, entrenched you are in this in terms of them getting in. I mean, are you going to be keeping an eye on the, uh, the Butler game tonight? Because we need Butler to beat uh, Xavier. And then we also need Nevada to beat Boise State. I know you got a big company to run and a lot of things right. in your life, but are you right. watching all the other factors involved? Yeah, well, I, I like to multitask and sometimes to my own demise. But yeah, I'll be watching those games. And I don't know if we need them to. Obviously, it'll be really helpful. And then it's undeniable. Um, but but yeah, those are important games. And no doubt, those are bubble teams. Uh, though I believe we're best better than both of those teams that, uh, that people are considering. I think we stand out even uh, against those teams, win or lose. Are you in uh, communication with Travis and Chris May? And what can be done between now and selection Sunday on Sunday evening? Well, you know, I talked to Travis and, and, and Chris during the year, but I try to stay out of these kinds of issues. Um, I, think, I think there's obvious reasons why I don't want to get involved in those things. But, you know, I'm, when I communicate with them, I'm talking more about pre and post hoc, uh, pre, what, how are we going to play this game? What's looking good? Who might be hurt? And then post hoc, what did we do well? What happened? How do we improve? I mean, as anyone would be curious to, to know. Um, and then, of course, I'll, I'll always give my thoughts and observations, but I, I'm, I'm not getting uh, involved in like how does SLU get selected and such. So obviously, you know, anything I can do that would be helpful, I would do. 
I imagine the news about Javante Perkins returning really bright your day a couple of weeks ago, right? Oh, yeah. I love Javante. I mean, I think he's an NBA potential player, and he makes a few uh, changes um, and improves in the areas that I know he'll improve in, and I think he'll be an NBA player. I've always been a fan of his. Uh, I mentioned uh, a couple of years ago, both to him and to, and to, uh, to others, that I think he has the potential. So, yeah, I, I think the guy's a pure shooter, pure scorer. He gets more aggressive, builds up his body, uh, gets more, even more confident, and I think he's going to be a huge standout next year. By the way, a quick NBA thought. And anytime anybody knows that I'm going to talk to you, they always say, please ask Dr. Shavitz about his NBA uh, goal or dream. Do you have one? And would St. Louis be an interesting fit? Look, I've always wanted to be an NBA owner. Uh, I mean, I've tried a few times in the past, but we know these are tough things to get. They're trophy assets. They're few and far between. And, you know, only one person wins in those things. But um, you know, if there's an opportunity to, to be involved in an NBA team, uh, I'm the first one in line for sure. Final thought before we let you go. What will you be like on Selection Sunday watching that? I'll, I'll be watching like everybody else with my, with my multiple fingers crossed uh, and believing we should be there and hoping that the selection committee and the others who make the decision see it the same way. I think it would behoove them to have SLU in the tournament, not just because we deserve it, and I think it'll be an exciting team to watch play. And I think we'll surprise a lot of people. And, and if they want to get ratings up, lose the team you want to have in there. Because those are the kind of teams people want to watch and get excited about, about following. 